Yes, I. Hello, I'm I'm calling to speak with uh, with Ms. Atwood. Yes, this is her. I am she. This is Margaret Atwood. Yes, it is. I am Margaret Eleanor Atwood. You can call me Maggie if you want to. Okay, uh, I'm Jonathan Goldstein. Uh, we were scheduled to have an interview this afternoon. All right, go ahead. Ask away. Shoot. Okay, um, because we're doing this. Uh, we're doing a show this week that deals with uh, the idea of God. You once described yourself as a as a pessimistic pantheist, saying that God is everywhere but losing. What what did you mean by that exactly? And do do you still feel that way? Oh yes, I am a pessimistic panther, like you said. I'm a cat. I'm a cat in the woods, looking for mice, but I'm not uh, finding any. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm that, <laughs> this is ridiculous. You're you're you are not Margaret Atwood. This is Margaret Atwood. You're a man doing a, a, a woman's voice. Well, that's very insulting. I admit my accent needs a little work, but this is my first day on the job. What 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 job are you talking about? <sighs> well, I'm one of Miss Atwood's Atwoods. What? You know Superman? Uh-huh. He has a number of robots, Superman robots. That if he's too busy and he has a lot of things going on, he sends a robot, right? Uh -huh. Well, Margaret Atwood can't be everywhere at the same time. So, well, you're a if, robot? If, no, I'm not a robot. Don't be an idiot. I'm a trained actor, but I am Margaret Atwood number 36. Okay. You know, I don't understand what's going on. But you, know what her, you know her robotic arm project? Where she was doing those, uh, those book signings uh, remotely with a, with a robotic arm? Yeah, well, she's a big proponent of uh, post-humanism which uh, privileges informational pattern over material instant, instant, I can't really say that word, instantiation. Instantiation. They have, a, they have a, like a little cheat sheet here. So her presence physically on the telephone is redundant. You know what I mean? I see. So, so, so I get the robotic arm. Bingo. You want the interview or not? Do you want it or not? Well, I don't even know what it is anymore. I mean, this. Well, it's an interview with Margaret Atwood. You're not. Mar th it's not. I have the 36th iteration of Margaret Atwood. And, you know, I'm something of an Atwood scholar, I'd have to say. You're an Atwood scholar. That's right. You you didn't even know what I was talking about with the. Pa you thought I was talking about a panther. Well, I, I'm. Well, that's just. Anybody could make that mistake. I mean, I, I know everything about her book. You know everything about. What, yeah, what, absolutely. Uh huh. What have you read of hers? Well, she's very prolific, you know that. Well, yes, she is. I haven't really caught up to where she is today. Uh -huh. And so where, where are you exactly in, the, in this project? I'm 15 pages into The Edible Woman. That's all you've read? That's it. W what, what about her poems? I'm about halfway into You Fit Into Me. You, it's a four-line poem. Well? It, you fit into me like a hook into an eye, a fish hook, an open eye. That, that is the entire poem. You only read half of it. Well, I read the part about, like, a hook into an eye. How do you not finish a four-line poem? Well, I was somebody called, and I had to do an interview. You have to work, all right? I have a job. I'm not like you, just calling people and asking. No, I'm not calling know. people. I'm calling Margaret Atwood. This is my Well, you job. got her, all right? You got Margaret <laughs> Atwood number 36. I was certified Margaret Atwood. How did you get this certification, exactly? We have to go to a camp. And, and what happened? Well, we go to a, uh, an exclusive camp that's uh -huh. in the wilderness, mm -hmm. and we have to hunt for our own food, as Margaret does. I n I've never heard that. We live in tents together, and, and you know, we, we are instructed in all of the Atwoodisms. So you, you were trained personally yes. by Margaret Atwood? No. Atwood number eight. Oh, you met Atwood eight. That must have been quite an honor. We end up having a ceremony at the end, and we were told there was a big surprise. Mm -hmm. And they wheeled in a box, and they opened it, and there was Margaret Atwood's robotic arm. Uh huh. And we all received our graduation diplomas mm -hmm. from the arm. And the arm extended towards each of us and shook our hands. Oh. Powerful. She had in this robot arm is incredibly powerful. Mm hmm. And. I think she squeezed a little extra 
hard on my hand because she brought me to my knees. It was excruciating. Okay, so you never, you never actually met Margaret Atwood. What do you mean by met? Well, I mean, I mean, maybe you with your prehistoric view of okay. I have to see someone with my face no, and I, their face there. You know, now we've met. You know, you sicken me in a lot of ways. What did I? What? You insult the idea of Margaret Atwood. I'm, I'm because not. She's more I'm, than a person. She is an idea. All right. Well, yes. And if she were there right now. Mm -hmm. If her robotic arm was right there with you, mm -hmm, yeah. it would just reach up and punch you in the face. I don't. That is not. That, I'm sure that's not true. Well, you're sure of so much. Why are you calling the interviewer? Why don't you just interview yourself about Margaret Atwood? You could just step right in as number thirty-seven. Would you like that? No, I wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't, because you've got nothing. I'm number thirty-six. All right. I'm somebody. I am Margaret Atwood. Well, you you keep telling yourself that. I am telling myself that. Yeah, well, I am you, Margaret Atwood. You could keep telling yourself. I am Margaret Atwood. It's you could say it all I day am long. Margaret Atwood. It doesn't. It doesn't. I am Margaret Atwood. It's but it's, I am it, Margaret Atwood. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm. I'm here. I am Margaret Atwood. You're not Margaret Atwood. You're one of many fake Margaret Atwoods. How many of you are there? How, How many Jonathan Goldsteins do you have? I'm, well, I'm just one. I'm me. One. Exactly. Must be lonely. Well, it can be sometimes. It must but... be lonely being only one. Well, that's, I mean... We are many. We are Margaret. Okay, you know what? Within this... the Atwood, we are all one. What? It's like you're in a cult. Reach for your inner Atwood. Okay, I, you know what? It I, wants th to come out, Jonathan. This really wasn't that important. I hear it crying. Uh, th I, I don't need this. I'm, Atwood. I'm... I'm just calling up Douglas Copeland. That would. Okay, thank you. Can you hear it? You fit into me like an Atwood into an Atwood. 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 <laughs>